I'm Brian Besner from Dalhart, Texas. We've got about 9,000 irrigated acres, 16,000 total acres. We have about 18 employees and pretty much all but three or four of them use FieldNet every day. We use it, you know, on all different kind of platforms. I mean, iPads, iPhones, smart TVs, laptops, you know, every, every different device you could possibly use it on. You know, at the time we looked at uh, telemetry, it was the most complete product out there, uh, and that's why we chose Lindsay FieldNet. Prior to FieldNet, I spent pretty much 12 hours a day chasing sprinklers. Now, you know, I mean, it's down to two or three, and it's freed up all kinds of time for seed business that I, that I do now. We have a preconditioning lot, feed yard, and uh, to be able to manage time, but, you know, between all of these, it has helped uh, tremendously with that. The time savings that, that FieldNet uh, offers and in the way the price structure is today, I, I would think it would take less than 30 days to to pay out on, you know, jumping on board and, and getting FieldNet. I have recommended FieldNet to, to friends and customers alike. I've told them that it, it you know, the, the benefits of, of, you know, putting the water in the right place, uh, the ease of use, how, how easy it is to put on a machine and actually, I mean, you're up and running in no time with, with FieldNet. And after they've used it for a little while, they have all said, how did I get along without that? You know, I've got people out here that are 55, 60 years old. My dad, case in point, 73, um, he has email problems and uh, he can pick it up and whiz right through it, the whole thing. He uses it just as much as anybody else at this place. He was like, oh, yeah, put it on everything. I mean, it was that quick. I have yet to find anybody that has picked up a phone with the app on it that couldn't quickly figure out how to use it. FieldNet's not just sprinklers. Uh, you know, we're, we're doing uh, weather stations, monitoring, things like that. Uh, we're putting rain gauges, you know, in remote areas, uh, soil moisture probes uh, integrated right into it. You know, you can go back and chart histories and things like that with, with soil moisture probes. I think we do a, a lot better job, a lot more even job of chemical or, or fertilizer application with it. We rely on the, the, the alerts for all kinds of things. Every speed change, every direction change, on mine is set up as a level one alert and I get a text about every time somebody touches one. And that's the cool part about it is everybody can get a different type of alert. And, and a lot of the other systems out there, they don't do that.